Hi everyone, welcome to the week 1 math graded assignment solution video for the second term. So let us start with the first question. So in this question, there are two equations given here. And based on these two, we have to find how many solutions it will exhibit and its geometric representation. So the first equation is equation of a straight line having slope 1 and minus 1. So these two lines will cut each other at only one point so it will have a unique solution and it will cut and its representation will be this one okay so for the a second one so this is a particular equation of plane and these two planes are having the same dx and cosine and the only difference between these two are the constant term so these two are parallel planes and uh, having distance 6 divided by root 3 okay so that's equation so since these are parallel planes so it does not have any solution okay so it will give no solution and these are parallel planes so its graphical representation will be the first one okay so for this particular for this particular Mm. planes there will be no solution and the third equation and the third one is z equal to 0 that means xy plane and the another plane is x plus y plus z is equal to 1 so it will intersect okay so so this plane x, x plus y plus z is equal to 1 will cut the xy plane at infinite many points because if this is a plane and there is another plane passing through it so these all points from here to here it will con uh, it will contain a, a lot of points so that's why it will contain infinite solution and its representation will be like this one as we expand then its solution will become large and large so that's why uh, for this particular planes it will exhibit infinite number of um, solution and its representation will be like the second one okay so the moving to the option so for the first one it is going to second and then third okay so this is true this is incorrect for the second one it is going to So for the second one it is going to no solution and then a parallel plane so second C and 1 okay so second C and 1 this is correct this is incorrect okay and for the third one it is going to infinite solution and the second option that is A and 2 so this particular option is correct this is incorrect okay so moving to the second question so we have to find the determinant of this matrix A okay so what we will do here is we will write column 1 that is C1 as C1 plus C2 okay so it will become 209 plus 100 will give 2119 similarly it will give 2220 and it will give 2321 okay this is 100 and this is 200 this is 300 similarly 2119 2220 and 2321 so now column 1 and column 3 are equal so that's why determinant of a will be equal to 0 okay 